I'm Steve Van Order with AMP EFI DIY Auto Tune, and today is Tech Tuesday. So let's talk about how to appropriately set up, loom, crimp, and pin um, one of the sub harnesses in our Coyote harness. So today we're going to focus on the IAT harness, and uh, let's jump into it. So the IAT harness is going to come with a two-pin Amphenol connector with terminals. It's going to come with Link the Tech Flex with some heat shrink labeled. The sensor that we supply with the kit is a GM sensor, so we've already pinned the sensor end with a, a pretty long length of wire. This is a little over six feet. Now, when you're installing this on your vehicle, what you're going to want to do is place your IAT sensor uh, at its location, plug it in, route the wires approximately where you want them to go, and then trim it to length. Okay. Uh, for the for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to work with about two and a half, three feet of wire. Once you have your wire trimmed for your length, go ahead and get your tech flex out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place a loom almost up against the edge of the connector, and I'm going to run down until I'm about mm, this far from the end. I like to leave a little bit of room just in case I need to adjust. And now we're going to cut the loom. All right, now for this next step, what I like to do is go ahead and take our heat shrink and I'm going to pass it over the wires and get it down at the end of that connector. One, so we don't forget to put it on there. And two, because now I can take the loom and I can get it started slightly and then slide the piece of heat shrink over the top. And it's, it's not foolproof, but it's a little bit of extra protection that the loom's not going to open up and let go of the wire down here. Now, take the end of my wire. Sometimes this trick works. We're going to take and uh, slide the wires through a small wrench. Work that down into the loom. And as long as you're not in a hurry, don't rush. Take your time. I guarantee if you rush on this part, they're just going to pop out of the loom. If the wires get wrapped around the loom like so, it's just going to continue to fight you. So take a minute, reposition, work it down the rest of the way. There we go. Now, because this is a woven wrap, what we're going to need to do is come back here to the edge. I just put my finger inside the leading edge and just work my way down. Straighten the loom back out, and there we go. We are loomed. Now, on the larger pieces of this type of wrap, we want to twist it, and that'll just tighten it up on the wire a bit. Now, my suggestion, once you get to this part, point, is to take this other piece of heat shrink and slide it over. If you don't, you will forget about it. It's almost guaranteed. And now we've got heat shrink on both ends, and the loom applied. Go ahead and strip our wire connections here. You don't need much
take our connector and pins out of the bag. Let's see if my strip length is correct. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the wire into the terminal like so and butt it up against the back of the terminal here. What I'm looking for is for this center portion of the terminal to be exposed directly to the copper. All right. If the insulation is inside this crimp, that's a bad crimp. We don't want that. And we don't want the insulation strip so far that we're way, way back here. This final crimp back here is a strain relief and should be placed onto the insulation. So this would be considered a correct strip length. Get this removed, terminal removed from the strip. We'll hold it like so. I just place my finger on it. Take our $12 Amazon crimpers. I'm going to choose 18 to 20 because this is 20 gauge wire. I'm going to apply my crimp on the wire and then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to grab the uh, 18 to 14 and I'm going to simply crimp over the insulation. Give it a little bit of a squeeze. All right, now we're pinned. I'm going to go ahead and do this other one. Okay, so when we're looking at the connector here, the instructions say that our orange wire is going to be go into pin two. Now we can see on the connector that we've got a one and a two. Pretty easy to see, easy to determine. We'll just slide this into two. If the pin fights you, rotate it 90 degrees and try again. There we go. Okay, so what was the problem? The problem was when I did my crimp, I crimped too tightly and the terminal here uh, had a bulge on each side. And that bulge interfered with it going into the connector. I simply took my crimpers, I gave it a little squeeze to uh, remove the majority of the bulge on the terminal and now it goes in without issue. There we go. Simply apply the lock. Remember, male terminals get a wedge. Now this one, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver and I'm just going to reach down in there and I'm going to push that lock into place. You hear a nice click. Now the terminals won't let go. All right. Last thing to do to finish this sub harness up for our intake air temp sensor is to heat shrink these ends and, uh, and we're complete. Okay, when I go to finish my Tech Flex with heat shrink, what I like to do is get the heat shrink up against the edge of the Tech Flex, like so. Just past it. And now this is unlabeled. I prefer very much to use a heat gun. I don't really like using something like a torch or a lighter. We'll call that appropriately finished on one end. Now, when we go to do the label, uh, because it's got verbiage on it, what we want to do is we want to make sure that when we shrink this, we shrink it from the opposite side of the lettering. Otherwise, the lettering is going to shrink. Again, I'm lining the edge of the heat shrink up with the edge of the TechFlex. Once I get the majority of it shrunk, then I'll move and I'll apply a little heat to the front of the label. And now we have an appropriately applied heat shrink label. It's nice and legible and it has not shrunk up. All right, guys, there you go. That's how we've, uh, we've taken and we've assembled our intake air temp
uh, sub-harness. This is ready to be installed. Thanks for joining.